Others cannot define your gender at all. <coughs> I'm going to illustrate this by uh, showing you the gender scale. Gender is a wide continuum of many different identities, as I will address later. Except for the sake of uh, this, uh, for the sake of understanding. On the left here, we have female, um, frankly a male. In the middle, we have mutual. So that could mean maybe you identify with both, maybe you identify with neither. We also have the y-axis, intensity that you feel that way. Say, uh, say we have a, maybe a tomboy. And they, they dress maybe in hoodies, uh, maybe a baseball cap. Uh, you would think, oh, well, they would identify as male. <laughs> no, it's not that easy to say. Uh, I know many people who, who identify as female and dress as what our culture would depict as kind of more masculine. So it's not really that easy. Uh, they may not intensely feel like a female, but they do nonetheless identify as female. Alternatively, there are people who, uh, who may dress masculine. I do, all the time and do not identify as female. That would be me. I do not identify as female whatsoever. I don't identify as male either. I identify kind of more in the middle. This is called a genderqueer person. And I intensely feel that way. Female genitalia is the thing that makes me gender dysphoric. It, it is kind of alienating. It doesn't feel right to me. And so I would, uh, I would identify myself as very intensely neutral. I hope that uh, gives you kind of a clear understanding of that. There's a difference between uh, gender identity being how you personally feel and gender expression being what our culture depicts as what you're supposed to be as you give given sex. There is a third myth we have out there, being that there are only two options that we can identify as. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to say that there are. Uh, it, it's actually more common to have a, a third gender in the world than there is to have two, and it's actually called two spirit to some people. It's it's called gender queer to others. There is a very 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 thorough map that I have here as a link, and it has a, a complete detailing of what exactly the world depicts as gender and how very kind of arcane our perception of it is compared to the rest of the world. Now, I think I'm going to feel generous today and uh, give you all a copy. This is going to be uh, a map of the way the world identifies as gender and a complete list of, uh, not very complete, but a list anyway, of the way that many people identify. I wouldn't pass it on. Uh, I think you'll find very quickly once you see my uh, copy there just how very complex gender can be and how if you were to look at a person in the future uh, to maybe treat them with a little bit more sensitivity, uh, realize that uh, what you see isn't always what you get. And uh, I think we can treat each other with a little bit more sensitivity and respect for the future. Thank you very much.